Welcome back to WBTV News on uh, Bounce. Uh, <laughs> Mama Mag is just, <laughs> she has been on fire tonight. The things that happen uh, in commercial breaks, Oh, my folks. goodness. Uh, you it, never it, it's, know. it's pertaining to one of the stories. We might tell you a little later. A, seg a segment we do every Tuesday night, Mama Mag, Ask Mama Mag, discusses issues facing yes. parents and children mm -hmm. across the world. Uh, you own a daycare. You've yeah. been doing a daycare for many, many years. Uh, a very successful one. So uh, we always have, like to have you here and, and have you weigh in. So here we go. School officials in Tampa, Florida, mm. are under fire for a program that gives students with better grades a better spot in the lunch line. The incentive program at Woodrow Wilson Middle School makes students who are less successful eat last. The high-achieving students are given a card so that cafeteria workers can identify them. The student with cards either have a C or a behavior issue. Mm. Now, some parents believe the kids without cards are being treated unfairly. So we wanted to know, Mama Mac, is this incentive program embarrassing the students who don't get cards? I kind of have a feeling what you're going to say. I think it's very embarrassing. I mean, uh, like we were saying in the commercial break, um, yeah, no. <laughs> I would have been in the kitchen. <laughs> Well, Delano would, said he would have been serving if they had this program when he was in now, school. Now, acting on the other hand, I probably yeah. been, you know, I had one of those cards, but yes. grades. Mm. Well, I had a, well, grades, I was pretty good at grades, but I, I you know, I, like, I was like, a, my mother used to call me Musty. Is, that, that's my nickname, because you must. I, I didn't smell really, it you didn't did. smell really bad, but I was really halfway in between and bad. Is that a behavior issue? I you think they will not give you a card because you Musty? No, not, not, not the smell. She oh. was comparing it to, like, how you acted towards, you know, like, you weren't in trouble all the time. But and you, you had a little bit of an like edge. To musty. You. Yes, yes, that's what it, I don't know. I have to. We'll, maybe we'll call we, them. We're going to have to call Mama Love. Clarify that. that I before. am lost. <laughs> I was about to say, if they withholding cards over pump, it ain't going to be too many people <laughs> in the. Go right here. You, you go right here. Let me. Y'all keep going. Let me call her and see what she says about this. Hold on. I get that. Ahead, me, I, I, we, we, I, I, none of us agree with this, right? No, I don't. No, I think this is a bit much yeah. because yeah. it's the message that you're Text sending yeah. to young children mm. that you know you you have to eat last because perhaps you know learning is tough for you, right. or you did a little bit of unnecessary talking. Hey, hey, yeah. on the regular. Yeah. So you, you know, talk, you you're a, you're a big talker. You, you know. I mean, look how it worked. She's out. Still Hello. talking. Yeah. I, I can see if asleep. I was, you know, you know? doing okay. something else. Right. Uh -oh. Hey, uh, my mother, you're live on the air on WBTV uh, News on Bounce. I'm with Mama Mac and Brigida. What you used to call me, Musty. What, what, what what's the word you call me? Why? Because I never was bad. Thank you, Mother. It's oh, always. Boo. Yes. <laughs> is that is that what that means, yes. Mama Little? Oh, that's why I call it Mother because he, you know, children sometimes when they be young they stink, right? <laughs> they 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 stink as a kid, right? They do the wrong thing. He never was bad. Thank you. It has nothing to do with smell. Okay. Well, thank you for clearing that up. Thank you, Mother. But he was never like regular children. You know, like a bad child. Oh, he was good. He was good. He, 20, he, 24-7? He told the line he was on the straight and narrow? He was on the straight and narrow, but that's like all in the eye. I, I never know him to be bad. I love you. you know, like, like children, like, <laughs> we, we Stop have, trying to rush your mom off there. We have to go. There. Wait, we don't want you to. Okay. <laughs> Hey, we hey, thank you, hey, Mama Little. I'll call you later. We, we love you. Merry you. Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good deal. Right, Boy, good. So you, know, you know what you sound head. like like me when I'm trying to get on the phone with Mama, and it's been about 30 minutes. But um, I had one more thing to tell you. That was 15 we, we minutes go. ago. We got to go. We got to go. Good, thank, thank you, Mama. We appreciate it. And then he was like, bye. <laughs> bye. All right. I mean, but is your head big now or what? Well, I was a good child. I was meaning by saying serving that I was the, the head of because I was kind of like a teacher's pet. Back in the day, I used to. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, so. you didn't oh, say one that. Of those. I was meaning that. Were you a brown noser? I, now you have to take it to a different level. <laughs> Don't go on it. Let's move on to the next story. Okay, on to the next story. <laughs> uh, parents, this might be a great time to send the little ones. Well, if they ain't already out the room. Uh, a modern Santa Claus seems to be taking over Christmas, at least for adults. Check out uh, Mr. Claus in this Mexican <laughs> department store. No. Boy, he's suave. People are calling him a hipster Santa, like the George Clooney of Santas. 
Uh, Mr. Claus has high cheekbones and he wears very stylish clothing. I mean, he's even got that beard looking like it's tamed. Meanwhile, a Toronto mall is using the same male model as a fashion Santa. Ooh. He also wears modern clothes and he works in the mall with guest services. No sitting on his lap. Look at that. Uh, for every person who takes a selfie with fashion Santa, the mall will donate $1 to the Sick Kids Foundation. So a bit of a you know, altruism there. Yeah. Uh, these Santas causing a social media storm with some people loving the new Santas and some saying, you know what, they should ref you know, reflect jolly old Saint Nick, you mm -hmm. know, the plump guy in the red suit. Right. Yeah. So Mama Mac, are these Santas too naughty for Christmas? I won't say they're naughty, but they're, they're kind of over, you know, too far out there for me. I mm -hmm. bring back the old jolly saint nick mm. you know yeah, so I like hip, that. hip santa's not doing it for you mm. It seems like everybody's trying to change body types. I mean, this what's what up I with host, this? This is what I said. Yeah. That's what my Mac segment has been about changing body types and the sound I mean, off. What's going on? That, I can't really say. You know what it reminds me of? There's a guy, I don't drink beer very often, but when I do, I drink Dos Equis. <laughs> Does he not? Does he not? Look? Yeah, yes. yeah, Zach's giving me a thumbs up. Our floor up. director, Zach, agreeing yeah. with uh, I don't. Del Nayo there. This guy, the guy in the red coat's okay, mm -hmm. but the other guy, mm -hmm. you know, you don't sit little on too suave. Yes, uh, if he was at guest services, you wouldn't slide up and say, excuse me, sir, where's the food court? And a no. <laughs> okay? Okay. That day I would skip. <laughs> you would skip. You would skip that day. You would skip yeah. that day. Classy yes. young lady, a classy <laughs> lady as always. Oh, what you trying to say, Delaney? What? I'm just saying. That's a, that's a classy answer, the way she gave that. That was very nice. Mm. The shade being thrown <laughs> on this set tonight is unreal. Okay. All right. Sound off. Yes. So, all right. Uh, Mama Mag, uh, <laughs> I want to get your take on the sound off. We, uh, the Disney ca princesses, the characters, if you will, mm -hmm. the female characters, mm -hmm. uh, they've made them uh, look a little bit bigger. They've increased the more hip realistic. size. More realistic. More realistic, uh, as some people okay. say. A um, PR and marketing Snow executive. White. Yeah. And that? that's... Is that? Mm. I'm mm. a little off. Aurora. Aurora. Okay. And that's Pocahontas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this was done by a UK uh, lingerie bl a brand called Curvy Kate, wanting to redraw some of the characters, saying it believes a lineup of different heroine princesses relays a powerful message. So, you know, they've got fuller hips, a more pro proportional waist, and that sort of thing. Can we go scroll up prompter mm -hmm. so I can finish reading the script? Uh, they also have tattoos. So, Mama Mac, what do you think of these, that's, that's Snow White, mm -hmm. uh, of these princesses with uh, different body types. Well, I think it. Well, yeah, really, I can't. Well, go ahead. What do you think? <laughs> I I think if they had done it, the comparison with the dress on versus the dress on. lingerie, and ooh, it's kind of hard. I mean, you get a different. Like that one's too plump, and you know. I, yeah, yeah, I got you, you. you. You know what I'm saying? I just think so that. So you're saying they're you, too plump? No, I wasn't saying they were too plump. I'm saying that they should have, if they were going to do a comparison. Fully clothed. Fully clothed them. Mm -hmm. You know, why you got to have one? To show the difference. Yeah. Well, you can see the difference if they had on the clothes. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah. And it's, it's a, a lingerie, lingerie company, company yeah, doing this. That's that's cool. Cool. Well, there's well, Ariel. She's Ariel. got on her normal yes, clothes. Yes, Ariel is, but look at... Um, mm -hmm. the face yeah, from right. the Princess and the Frog. Yeah, Tiana. T Tiana. And look at yeah. her. And Belle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They plumped Belle up. Yes, they did. She mm -hmm. looked like she. They did. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. It is a dis, you know, a distinct okay, difference. I personally don't have a problem with it because yeah. I think it shows that there is more than one type of princess. Yes. Now because that, I think it's true. ingrained in you. Mm -hmm when you're looking at these fairy tales from Especially a very young kids. age that if it does mm -hmm. not mirror what you look like right. even as a child even right. as a as a, a young girl you know girls some girls develop faster than others and if mm -hmm. you are not seeing that representation it could cause you to question mm -hmm. whether or not there's something wrong with you if you're not getting the right messages at home or perhaps from somewhere else true, true. that true um Always a pleasure to have you. <laughs> you know, Mama Lulu has texted. What did she, she say? She called me oh, back. She called back and she left her voicemail. She knows I do the show from eight to nine, and she tried to get back on it. She, she loves attention. Oh, I'm telling you, she's, we well, she's great. Well, though. we see she's you great. come by and honest, my friend. <laughs> Mama Mac, <laughs> Mama Mac, always good to have you on the show. Thank you. We're Thank gonna be you. back it's with much more. We got a cooking segment. We got a cooking yes. segment. We got a cocktail segment. Cocktail. We'll be right back. Stay with us.